What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show, Brushing Up with Sean. Hope you're doing good and practicing on your clouds. Tonight, we're gonna go ahead and do something really cool and special. We're gonna make a big cloud happen on this canvas. Now, as you can see, I've already painted my 16 by 20 canvas plain blue. So if you've got a big brush, take your brush, make it this nice vibrant blue right here. Again, it's just plain acrylic paint. Um, nice vibrant blue and cover the whole thing. So take your big brush, go over all of that. I'm excited for tonight's show. We're gonna have a good time doing this. It's gonna be a little bit more of a close up of a nice big cloud for you and you can see a little bit more detail and technique of how we build this. So have fun, we'll see you at the end. All right, guys, let's get started on this painting here. I want you to go ahead and grab a couple different size brushes, a small brush and a medium size brush. You're gonna need both of them, but we're gonna start with our medium size brush. Now you should have your canvas all painted that bright, nice, vibrant blue. And I want you to get those two brushes handy, but at least start with your medium size brush. The two colors that we're gonna be using on tonight's painting is gonna be plain white and black. So what does that mean? If you saw that on the previous episode, that means we're gonna make these kind of a little bit more of a stormy, um, a little bit more moisture in these clouds here. So that's all we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've got my medium sized brush here. And what I'm gonna do is kind of make a nice gray, a nice little gray, because we're gonna start with our darker colors and then we're gonna start adding highlights on top of that. So lots of different layers, lots of different techniques coming into this, but we want imperfection, guys. Don't worry about anything. You can mess up on this, all right? We want imperfections because nature is not perfect, and we certainly use that to our advantage on these paintings here. So I got my medium-sized brush. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and kind of scoop up a little bit of white, bring it up here in the middle, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of black and mix that black into that white. Now that black's gonna saturate that white very, very quickly, so you don't need too much black, all right? So you can see it's a pretty dark gray right now. And you know, I'm just mixing it up right there. Got my, my nice little brush, and just taking some of that paint off on our palette there. All right, so what you're gonna do now is pick a spot, any spot. In fact, I'm gonna just go ahead and pick this spot, okay? That's a good spot to start with. Whatever is good for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and start there. Now, what I'm gonna do is just kind of in a circular motion, take some of this paint. I've got just a little bit on my brush, not too much is needed. All right, you can see that your gray is starting to kind of cover up some of this blue. And what you wanna do now is not make it so symmetrical. You wanna have some kind of randomness to your paintbrush. You wanna kind of have these nice clouds dispersing a little bit randomly. But you can see what it's doing is actually it's lifting up a little bit of that blue if that acrylic paint is still trying to dry. It's lifting it up a little bit. And you can also see that I put just that little bit of uh, paint on my brush and I haven't put any more yet on my brush. I'm taking this paint, again, as far as you can go without putting any more paint on your brush. And by doing that, what that does, that adds a little bit more texture. You can see that there's like these lights and darks coming up on this paint here. And all I'm doing is just kind of adding this nice little base, this back area here. Now, of course, now you can see I'm running out of paint on my brush there. No worries. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more on that same brush. And boy, that kind of lightened up a little bit right there. The reason being is because we just put a fresh dose of paint on there. And watch as we kind of, again, take this as far as we can go. Circular motions, kind of turn and flip your brush maybe a little bit too as you're doing this. And you're gonna start seeing lots of different textures and patterns, different things come off of your brush. It's a really cool step. And we're adding this high contrast. I love this blue background because it's so much contrast and we're gonna see these clouds really pop off this. So you guys are, hopefully you guys have been doing good at home, just kind of messing around with your paints, just getting a feel for it again. This is just a nice practice step here for us. I'm gonna add some more on my brush. I'm gonna cover a little bit of more canvas here, a little bit more faster. Now that I've got that practice motion, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take this and go kind of a little bit faster. And it's kind of nice when you start going a little bit faster, you start to get a little bit more imperfect. All right, you start to kind of feel like, all right, I'm not in so much control of this painting. And we want that. We want you to kind of feel that you've got all these different textures on here. But check that out. See, I kind of added this big poofy cloud up top right up here. Of course, I'm running out of paint there. And you can add a little bit more. So just by adding some more texture on there. Now this paint's already starting to dry down here. It's already getting dry. That's what acrylic paint does. It's all right, we're gonna use that to our advantage too. But look at that nice big cloud. Okay, I'm just using kind of the leftovers of this gray. So you can see I'm just kind of running it out and just gonna be, maybe take some clouds out here, break up some of this empty space. You can see it's got that a lot of blue right there, but I don't know, I kind of maybe I'll keep some of that and show it off. But I certainly love this technique. It's so fun because there's so much texture to it. All right, add a little bit more. Put my palette down. Got a little bit of blue poking through here. No big deal if you do. It's a little bit thinner and thicker in other places. And there you go. Yeah, taking it all off the brush. That's all you do. I've got kind of like this rounder shape up top here. But don't worry, it's gonna change. This is gonna change once we start adding more layers right on top of it. So that's kind of our base layer. You can tell it's definitely got some moisture in it because we added that black in there. But what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna stay, uh, take it up a notch with our highlights. So I'm gonna just scoop up some more of my white and then mix it into my gray that I have left. And that white's gonna start overpowering that gray real quick. All right, set that down. Now, this is where you kind of, I'm still using the same brush, but check this out. This is where you kind of see these highlights start to really take effect. Now, I added some right there in that top right corner there. Maybe there's like a light source or something coming around on that side. Um, here, I can add a little bit more on these clouds. And I'm just barely dabbing my brush, just blotting or kind of dabbing the whatever paint leftover I have on my brush. Just adding here. Now what we want to do is make this look a little bit more 3D. So what you do is you actually add here. I'm going to add maybe another rounder top cloud right here. And it's just kind of mirroring this one right up here. In fact, I can take this paint. Look at that. And all I'm doing is just using what's left on my brush. And this paint goes pretty far. So you can see I'm taking this quite a bit and I'm gonna start bringing in some of it into here. See the leftovers are a little bit darker, a little bit darker. So now you can start kind of maybe tapering some of that in there and making some highlights and lowlights, but breaking up that original kind of darker gray in the back. You wanna start kind of getting rid of like so much of it. You don't want so much showing because that's gonna be like our little base layer right there. Nice, oh yeah. Look at all that texture. Paint's, you know, a little bit wet. It's coming out, but it's drying. Hope you guys had a good week. You guys have been killing it at like those raffle guesses too. Been doing a good job. Last time we had the Val Kilmer guess, that was pretty sweet. Tombstone was the uh, most popular Val Kilmer movie guest. That's a good, that's a good movie. I like that one. Check that out. Look at those highlights. This one kind of stands out now because there's some shad some shadowing, some grays right there. I'm gonna bring some highlights down here. That's all it is, is really kind of just tapering. I'm just running off that paint that's on my brush. And I'm gonna add some more. All right, let's add some down here, some brighter highlights. And what's so cool is you can take so much time doing this. You can like really just practice, 
just kind of get a feel for how the paint's gonna work, how your brushes are working. And you can see that each cloud's so different. We've been working on clouds for a little bit. We got silhouettes coming up next. We've got all these different things that we're gonna keep working on and just practice. It's gonna be a fun time, guys. But take your time. This is certainly stuff that you don't learn quite overnight. And you just follow the instruction, just take your time, and eventually you start getting the knack of things. You start feeling how that brush is working for you or against you. Sometimes you feel like you mess up, it's okay. Especially on these, you can definitely add so many different layers and wait till this paint dries off. Look at, I'm gonna add another highlighted cloud here. Now, also to step away from your painting, kind of like disperse a little bit, get back, take a look at it, and just see how it looks. It's gonna look different when you start kind of seeing those different angles and perspectives and all that. So maybe step away, that also helps. But I'm gonna stay with you up here. All right, so we're adding these cool highlights. You can see our low lights tapering through. I'm just gonna just take a lot of this paint that's left on my brush and just get it all out of there. You can feel that paint just getting dry. Dang, acrylic paint, man. You can also, uh, if you don't want it to dry as fast, there are like little, uh, little mixing mediums that you can use, um, slow drying stuff that helps, you know, alleviate that from drying so quickly, just so you can get used to it too. But um, I kind of learned just by doing it with that dry technique and it's kind of cool just because if I like ever messed up, I can just put some plain white paint right over and uh, it dries real quick and I just start over again. Oh man. Okay. Whew, getting a little cardio up in here with this step. So you can see we've got this awesome, nice cloud here. Now this brush has been doing like those big, you know, uh, areas here, it's added some cool texture. So I'm gonna switch over to maybe a little bit of a smaller brush than your medium sized brush. Um, so like a small to medium size. So I'm gonna dunk that in my water cup. And this is where I'm gonna start adding even more detail, more depth. Um, you're gonna take some of this white, mix it into your light gray, making it even brighter. All right. You can see just taking some of that off, set that down. Now, this is where I want you to start kind of getting into your more detail mode. You can see that I'm just kind of actually just adding these really nice light highlights. I want to just do it on the right side of this cloud here. Now, if I feel like I'm gonna, you know, wanna go to the other side, for sure, you can feel it, whatever you want, you're the artist but you can see just what that does, that, that, that bright technique. And that starts to add a little bit more depth now into your clouds here. It takes it from being so boring and mundane. And check this out, I'm gonna add a little highlight right here. And what that does now, it looks like there's even more depth in your clouds, but just by adding another layer of highlights. So again, we started with our you know, darker gray, and then we just started, kept adding different highlights on top of this. Now keep working on it, guys. It's gonna take a little bit of time. All right, so I want you to just kind of have some fun with it. Take your time on it. And we'll get this going. Boom. This is fun, look at that. Really pretty color. I'm gonna go ahead and add, look at those highlights there. All right. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of work on this some more, just like you're doing at home. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and time lapse it a little bit here so we can kind of speed up this process. And then I'll see you as we do some more details. All right, keep it going guys.
All right, guys, so you guys kind of saw the highlighting that I've been doing here. Um, also, too, this is a great time if you want to like take a look at your painting, step back a little bit and just see how do I like it? Do I want to add more darker shadowing? Do I want to eventually add highlights? So let me just show you what I mean. I'm going to take that smaller brush I was using. I'm going to go ahead and mix in some a little bit darker gray here. I just want to just add a little bit more of a contrast. I don't know. I'm just having fun with it. I'm feeling it. We're going to go ahead and add some of this darker gray, but check this out. I'm just going to go ahead and add some of this kind of contrasting some of these clouds here. Now this gray is turning up a little bit different because it's not lifting some of that blue up now. It's actually a different kind of gray if you can believe it. It's not that bluish gray, but you can see it really changes the depth of this of these clouds here. I mean, check that out. That is so cool. And that's what's fun about these. You can just kind of start experimenting with color, um, just add different layers on it. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's what practicing is all about. We're gonna figure this out and see which you kind of like at home. But check that out. What a difference adding a new kind of gray. It's just the same paint that I've been using but what it's doing is it's just it's not lifting up that blue and that's what's kind of cool is you just try all these different techniques you just try and you figure it out and it's just breaking it up even more look at that I'm just taking some of that same paint I haven't even put any more on my brush I'm just kind of extending it out here there's a little bit uh, kind of a thick version here I want to kind of thin that area out boom lovely you guys got this so Fun treats, man. I, you know what I love doing here is just kind of every once in a while, I'm, I'm like jamming with these like paintings. I love doing this. It's just so much fun for me, especially when I like, you know, got music in it. It's like pumping. So next thing here, I'm going to just go ahead and play some tunes, rock out a little bit with you, and I'm going to add some brighter highlights into this thing here. I just want to change the dynamic. Um, so get your smaller brush, um, do some highlights with me and uh, we're gonna be using plain white. So just have some fun and let's wrap up these clouds here. Again, just practicing at home, that's all it takes. Just keep going, you know, different layers. See, I'm just kind of taking my dry brush now and kind of extending some of that out. Boom, added those cool shadows, but wait, man, we're gonna add some sweet highlights here. So have some fun with it, enjoy, and thanks so much for painting with me again. We got some fun stuff coming up. Can't wait. We're gonna keep this rocking, guys. All right? Have fun. Highlights are coming up. Here we go.
blind I've seen so much in so many places So many heartaches, so many faces So many dirty things You couldn't even believe I would stand in line for this It's always good in life for this Okay guys, that is a wrap on these big clouds here. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did for sure. Had a good time tonight with you guys, painting with you. Keep up the good work, all right? Just have fun with what you're doing. Again, make mistakes, enjoy what you're doing here. We're gonna delve into some different techniques, different things come up here, completely gonna change all these different things that we've been working on here. Of course, we've been staying with clouds, but now it's time to keep moving on. We're gonna do some pretty awesome things here, and I'm excited that you're uh, with me on this journey here. So again, brushing up with Sean, like us on Facebook, uh, subscribe on YouTube, tell your friends, family, whatever. Uh, I want you guys to have as much fun as I am with these paintings here. So we'll see you next time. Have fun. And remember, anyone can paint.